All the way to May 1st. Watch your language, Mr. Mr. Cox. The court is scheduling, and, and this is unaffordable, counsel? An unaffordable bond on May the, May the 11th. That's going to be at 9 a.m. via Zoom in front of Chief Judge McConnell. That will be an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing. And Mr. Cox, you only attend that if you're un unable to post bond. Uh, you're always attending July 6th. I don't have nobody to pay bond for This is intentionally unaffordable based on the concerns the court has regarding the safety of the public. And Mr. Cox and counsel, uh, is there a number? I'm African you Chinese. That's why you being racist, because they, they, they put their hands on me. So I'm not safe here. I'm fair for my life. It's out of way. It's out of miles. They flip with me, put their hands on me. Today, we have a classic case straight from the heart of Detroit. As our focus is on a defendant who staunchly believes the judge and prosecutors are intentionally discriminating against him, alleging that his bond is unjustly inflated for what he claims is a mere misdemeanor offense. The defendant is very agitated and unruly, requiring the judge to admonish and warn him several times to stop cursing and calm down, or he will be held in contempt. The defendant's adamant claims of discrimination and the apparent disparity in the bond assigned to him lend an air of tension to the proceedings. As the case unravels, questions arise, is the court system being unjust? As the defendant insists, or is there more to the story than meets the eye? Will his claims be vindicated? Or will the legal system prevail in its judgment? Stay tuned and let's find out. Say your name. Get off of Cox. Thank you, Mr. Cox. Uh, and good morning, sir. Um, uh, say good, something. Good, Mr. Yeah, one moment. That, wait, one moment. One moment. Did, did Mr. Reagan want to speak with Mr. Cox? Or are you guys? Sure. One moment, sir. Boy, trying to damn water, man. We got water. She never got that well. She is running the house. Fucking blow my cave, man. What the eight bedroom up for six thirty? Six bedroom. For six hundred eight thirty. Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. You be that way. I read the Frank. That's what. That's only worth because it's a story. That's it. Huh? But if you do the new modern look, do it the modern look. It's worth yeah. waiting for that. You make it modern with other countries on that shit. That's what I do. I don't have to okay. Problem, okay. Okay. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Cox. Okay. One moment. I uh, you. I just wanted to let you know, Mr. Cox, that you're being recorded, and what you say could be used against you. So today's just an arraignment date. You have an attorney to speak on your behalf. So we're going to go through the arraignment process. If you have any, wait one moment. If you have any questions about the bond conditions or the arraignment, you can ask the court. Any other legal questions, you can ask your attorney. I'm not the, the attorney didn't tell me I was I had a bond. They didn't tell me none of this shit. Well, Mr. Cox, watch your language. And you don't have a bond yet, sir, because we, we're just about to go through the the arraignment. I haven't given you any bond. So we, we there is no bond. That's why they didn't tell you anything. Watch your language, please. So, Mr. Cox, please state your full name, sir. Keapa Cox. Thank you. And uh, what you're here for is regarding case number 2304-46210, People State Admission versus Keopa Cox, also known as Keopa Cox, Keopa Lee Orlando Cox, Dantes DeAndre Cox, Kiopa Lee Orlando Cox. Appearance, please. Jennifer Douglas for the People, 27748. Can I speak, sir? One moment. One moment, please. One moment, Mr. Cox. Uh, court way formal reading and her plea of not guilty. Uh, Mr. Cox, the court scheduling a pretrial date via Zoom. You must attend on July the 6th. That's a Thursday via Zoom, 830, 36th District Court, Judge Bryant. July the 6th, Judge Bryant. I see that. And I, you want your file marked medical, Mr. Cox. I see that you're pointing to an injury, I, I sir. So, I, have a fracture, I have a fracture back from... Okay, Mr. Cox, I'm Mr. Cox, please, we'll get through this and I'll answer your questions. Please mark Mr. Cox file medical for the injuries to his back. Uh, please let him see a nurse, DDC. No, I want to be released. I don't have not did anything. I got, I'm here on a misdemeanor, not on a felony. I have a misdemeanor. Not Understood. Friend, not guilty, please enter. Uh, Mr. Cox, you're going to have to be quiet during the arraignment. I'll give you a chance, but now is not the time to speak. One, just be quiet, please. Uh, appearances. Did we? Not guilty, he's entered wait, wait informal reading, anything as to bond. 
Okay. Ask the bond from the people. I don't know what's going on. Start asking for uh, the bond in, in this I just got on May 3rd. Or this submission. Uh, so, said the person is a person requiring treatment because the individual. I just got on May 3rd, Judge. Out of Wayne County. For what? Your Honor, stand here. Okay. All right. Um, any response from the defense or anything at the bond? Your Honor, respectfully ask for a very nominal Any bond he can't afford? What about? I forgot the brand for this bike. What they call it? I don't know. Okay, so Mr. Cox, this is a very serious assault of allegation. You have no capious issue or prior criminal convictions the court's aware of. I've taken into consideration your ties to the community employment status presented by counsel as it relates to the ability to post bond, as well as I've reviewed the information in the investigator's report and taken into consideration a possible mental status and disorder as indicated by the people and counsel as it relates to uh, the concerns the court has regarding the safety of the public. Uh, I just did my case May 3rd first. I just did my case May 1st. Just got on May 3rd of Wayne County. He was the same okay. lawyer that seen me to do. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't. I, I lost my job being in jail from April 15th. I was locked up April 15th to May 1st, and I got out May 3rd on tether. And I beat my case on May 3rd, and they released me on tether. I have my own and attorney. So the people, uh, okay, thank you, Mr. Cox. One moment. And the people and defense, you're asking for a nominal 10% bond as well. Both. Okay, so the court's following the recommendation from both parties. Uh, the court, uh, sir, based on your mental status presented by uh, APA as well as counsel and given the information alleged in the investigation report, which there does lead us towards a likelihood of conviction. Uh, and this is allegation the court finds extremely serious. So the court will set a nominal bond in the amount of a $3,500 10% bond. What the? I and, uh, don't have enough to pay. You made me lose my job last time, and I missed my visit with my kids. I was just like, up April fucking fifteenth. Got out. I beat them with the court May first, bro. Got out May third. Okay. I just beat a salt case. Watch I, your language. Okay. I just beat a not, salt not, case. Not, I just beat a salt case. Watch your This is a. This is not a felony. This is a misdemeanor. Watch well, my vibe so high. Can you call my lawyer? Summer Brush three one three four eighteen sixty sixty one. Name Summer Brush and Mark Presida. There was a chart. The court attorney of lawyers. Court appointed lawyers that they were presenting me. I lost my job fucking April 15th, okay. all the way up to May 1st. Watch your I language, Mr. Cox. The court is scheduling, and, and this is unaffordable, counsel? Yes, sir. An unaffordable, unaffordable. bond on May the, May the 11th. I'm That's going to be, gonna be at 9 a.m. via Zoom in front of Chief Judge McConnell. That will be an unaffordable bond redetermination hearing. And Mr. Cox, you only attend that if you're un unable to post bond. Uh, you're always attended July 6th. I don't have nobody to pay a fucking bond for This is intentionally unaffordable based on the concerns the court has regarding the safety of the public. But, and Mr. Cox and counsel, so they need to put their hands on me. You do that shit because I'm African and you Chinese. That's why you being racist. Because they, they, they put their hands on me. So I'm not safe here. I'm fearing for my life. It's out of way. It's out of mind. They flip with me, putting okay. their hands on me. Is there, do you Mr. know how Cox, that they put their hands on me, this, sitting in this building. They got cameras, they got video. They slammed me with handcuffs behind Mr. my Cox, back. Mr. Cox, is there any phone number you want the court to call? Is there an attorney you want the court to call to let her know yes, this court date? because y'all railroaded me. You railroaded me. You know I don't have the money. What's you the number? You got me fired from your fucking job. 313 you 418 60-61. Summer Brush. That's a Summer Brush? 
Yes, yeah, Summer Brothers. Okay. Court three one three. three eight, wait, Mr. Cox, you want us to call it three one three four one eight six zero six one? Yeah. Okay. The well, Madam Clerk will call that number and we'll let her know of your upcoming court date. No, that's Anything not my lawyer. From she's, the not, she's a court appointed lawyer. She fucking helped me with my boss. She just be my case May third. I just got out of Wayne County May third. I do not have no money to pay no fucking bond. Come on, man. I don't. Anything I'm asking for help. Defense, I'm asking for help because they put, yes, yes, it is. See the wounds. Look at my wounds. My wounds is right here. Look at my wounds. Okay. Wounds, my whole leg is numb. I cannot feel my left leg. Okay, and your file's being marked medical. Uh, your arraignment is concluded unless you have any questions about your court date or bond conditions. And Madam Clerk is making a phone call and going to let the attorney know of that new court date if, if, she's, if she's on it. I'm not, I don't have anything in a file that she's appointed on this matter, but we're making the phone call regardless. She's not appointed on it. I'm not appointing her on the case. I'm just making the phone call at your request. All right. Thank you, DDC. Good luck, sir. Viewpoints, interpretations, and insights expressed in this video are for education and entertainment purposes. All individuals featured in the video are to be presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Please do not attempt to contact, locate, or engage with any individuals featured in the video.